I'm Tom Bartlett, and my character's name was Kevin. I'm Stephen Boggs, my character's name was Kyle. I'm Kelly Palmer, and I played Daphne. I'm Billy Frank, and I played Dick. Hi, I'm Tammy Clatterbuck, and I played Fantasia in the movie Hobgoblins. Hi, I'm Darren Norris, I played the MC of Club Scum. Hi, I'm Kenneth J. Hall, and I designed and created the puppets for the original Hobgoblins. And I'm Rick Sloan, writer and director. And you're watching Hobgoblins. I remember I didn't actually get the Hobgoblins puppets until the night before filming. And I remember my first look was, wow, they look really good. And they're showing me how to operate them. Due to budgetary limitations, I could only put uh, hand manipulation in one of the mouths, so the rest of them were pretty much basically uh, stuffed dolls. I'm thinking, oh boy. So I figured, yeah, I can just throw them on the actors and they'll make it work. Instead, we wind up with, you know, Bella Lugosi and the octopus from Bride of the Monster. Working on a Rick Sloan film is like working on a high school production. It's fun and you learn a lot, but there's no money whatsoever. <laughs> yes, working on a Rick Sloan film is raiding your closet, raiding your kitchen, raiding everything you own and bringing it to the set that day. <laughs> it, it, for me, it reminded me of when I was a kid and we staged a puppet show in my buddy's garage and we got all of our friends to come over and watch and we charged them the mission. <laughs> Working on a Rick Sloan film is like um, helping my kindergarten daughter's classroom with food and cupcakes. <laughs> and this is the actual typewriter the original Hobgoblins was written on. I need a new house pet to impress my friends. Now hurry before the zookeeper comes. Help me hide this iguana on my body. Some of the lines that I really did not want to say, uh, Show me some crabs I can see without a microscope. Mr. Giraffe, teach me how to swallow. Mr. Horse, let me give you a bareback ride. Oh my gosh. By 1990, I was seriously considering a sequel to Hobgoblins. Oh, but there's lots of things I could show you for the first time. Nick. Nick. Nick! All the Gremlins, ripoffs, ghoulies, critters, munchies, troll, they all add two and three. So, yeah, I mean, I was considering a Hobgoblins too. What's he doing here? He's the only one that can help us. I am not gonna pretend that it had nothing to do with Mystery Science Theater 3000. That was the only reason because the film had long faded from people's memories and all of a sudden it was considered one of the worst films of all time so they had a lot to do with why i decided to make a sequel whatever you do don't show your fear it's too late <sighs> When I heard that Hobgoblins 2 was being made, I was just kind of like, why would you mess with perfection? <laughs> I was like, rock on. Yeah. I, I just wanted to change my phone number. But... <laughs> no. Did you repaint the Mona Lisa? <laughs> no. <laughs> my first thought was, how on earth did you make enough money to warrant a Hobgoblins 2? <laughs> What's that guy doing? He's smashing the camera because he doesn't want Rick Sloan to continue. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, 22 years later, <laughs> he's gone high tech. Yeah, high tech. He's, he's got high tech masturbating. Online <laughs> Hi, it's me, Fantasia. Enter your credit card name. Me. Oh, oh my my God. What am I going to do with the side of green jello? Oh, man. <sighs> Splish splash. I thought he was better, actually. I thought he did a much better job than I did. His, I thought that when he was masturbating, it was believable. He sold it. <laughs> so the dialogue, that hadn't changed, just as seedy. Whipped cream, green jello. 
<laughs> oh boy, I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> the general storyline was maintained for Hobgoblins 2. McCready is locked in a mental hospital from blowing up the movie studio. I really wanted a place where they would still do lobotomies and everything was antiquated. And the place kind of had to be the early 60s, so I did have to find candy striper uniforms and hospital uniforms that were all 40 to 50 years old to give the place a very dated look. In the original film that would have been made 20 years ago, Kevin and his friends were going to break McCready out because they're being attacked by the puppets. The hobgoblins have surrounded the house while my friends are. But because the sequel's 20 years later and I had to recast everybody, I had Kevin and his friends meeting McCready for the first time and learning about the hobgoblins. <laughs> Don't hurt me. And I really kept Hobgoblins 2 as close as possible to the first movie. I shot matched a lot of scenes. What's going on? <laughs> Any scene that got a good laugh in part one, the garden tool fight. <laughs> the constantly throwing the puppets on people and watching them roll on the ground. <laughs> Any scene that was made fun of by Mystery Science Theater. How we got here in time? <laughs> I made sure we did it all over again. To the Hot Gun fans, um, keep on watching. Go to number two. We're gonna do number three. We're all gonna star in it. I think that the Hobgoblins <laughs> fans definitely deserve number two. To the Hobgoblin fans that are still out there, <laughs> so yeah, to the to the Hobgoblin fans out there, both of you watching from your mother's garage, uh, I just want to say thank you very much for helping keep. Well, I was going to say our careers alive, but uh, that doesn't seem to really fit. So. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead. They're dead. dead. Get over it. But um, I'm glad there's someone out there that appreciates. It. I have absolutely no regrets about doing Hobgoblins. It was, first of all, great experience. Uh, as I said, it was, a, it was a lot of fun for me. Uh, I got to be uh, fairly over the top, and it was my, my, first, my first role, my first movie, uh, first everything. So I just sort of absorbed everything, and that's a, that's a priceless experience. Your first job, if everybody's first job could be as, as much fun as I had on Hobgoblins, it would be fantastic. The next time you see a movie that's only rated PG, I want you to make it rated X. The only regret I have is that more people might see me in this movie. Hobgoblins, Hobgoblins, what are you going to do with the Hobgoblins? Hobgoblins, what are you going to do with those Hobgoblins?